Hello and welcome to more World War II 172 scale. We're going to look at some awesome Dragon models. The German half track, this particular variant, these all have a 37 millimeter mounted on it for uh, defense. Uh, this is the SDKFZ 251. And let's take a closer look and then we'll bring them out and look uh, at them more individually. Love the paint job on this one. Very nice. These two are the same. So I added uh, two figures in here. You can see they have the MG42 machine gun in the back. Uh, this one's a nice one. Sand and green. Added a couple of figures. And then the first one I really like. We'll take that one out to look at first and pull back a little bit. If you see the size of the gun shield on here is much smaller. This is the earlier style. I think it looks very cool. Much higher. They, they lowered it down because it was too high and conspicuous, but it did give a lot more uh, protection than this one. Uh, let's take a look here. Very cool indeed. This one's a, a gray one that's been overpainted with sand as the Penzovafa was shifting away just from the, the grau, the gray, and then went into the Dunkel Gelb or the sand yellow, dark yellow. Uh, these are very nice die cast. You see, I got a number on these. Uh, these are metal and plastic, very collectible. Uh, these came out 12, 15 or more years ago. They're kind of hard to find because they're all uh, just in collector's hands now. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Like that paint job. I had two of these and I did a conversion on one of them, I believe. And then I used the gun for something else. See lots of details in there with the seats and so forth. Nice silhouette on it. Oh yeah, and this is, uh, you can tell the difference. This is the later war. See how this is sloped back here? And then this goes this way and this way. This was, and then there were changes up here too. Now if you look there, see how this had a lot more angles than this. They simplified it for production and cost. My perspective, they're both nice, but this one's kind of cool. And this one simplified the door too, because it's just flat. And this was a more complicated door that opened out. Got it on a little bit of my flexible terrain. <clears throat> a little path. It's not really supposed to be a road, more of a path. Here's a really cool one with the sand over the gray. You can see this one, it's a little different. They didn't sort of just have the pure seats. They have plenty of ammunition in there stored in the lockers. Take a look. See a little casualty. These things are very delicate. They're hard to put on when you do a regular model. And on these, they'll, they'll still just break off the mirrors. There's one gone. Uh, not really meant for a wargaming board, but uh, they do look great when you do use them. Uh, let's see, just a basic figure there. A little silver on his belt. This guy's holding something, doing something, in his little boots. Very nice. And then this one, even though it's the earlier war style, they still had them. They started using the three color camouflage in, I believe, the summer of 43, like around curse time. 
uh, with the sand and the brownish, reddish brown. This one's classic color. Look great with the late war. Now the 37 wasn't very effective against uh, armor, but later on they did have something that they could adapt that made it a little bit more potent, but it was very good at taking out uh, armored cars, trucks, half tracks, and then they could fire HE, so it had that capability too. Uh, I have a very large collection of the 251 half tracks with lots of variants and regular ones. I have a couple of videos of them already. Uh, one day, <clears throat> when I can, they're hard to get off the shelf because there's a couple dozen of them. I'll lay them all out and we can take a look at them. And then I also have the short 250 uh, half track, which also had a bunch of the variants like this. I, I have built a couple of them, but most of them are a uh, pre-made dragon. Very nice indeed. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks a lot for liking and subscribing. Till next time, more World War II 172 scale.